And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we finally solved our XP problem. The next problem that we need to deal with is decide how we are going to spend the, yeah, the skill points that we acquired and the, more importantly, which perk we are going to choose. And you might, yeah, you might recall from previous instances of that problem that I have a um, I'm this kind of person that has a hard time deciding <laughs> when, I, when I'm forced to when I'm forced to make a decision between more than one option um, I usually tend to have a hard time making a decision okay so um, yeah we need to choose a perk well we could also choose not to choose a perk which would be silly okay action boy um, Hmm. One additional action point to spend in every combat turn. Um, animals, animal friend. Animals will not attack one of their friends. I think, um, yeah, this game classifies the, um, well, the, the red scorpions and the, um, oh God. um, how they are called again? The death claws, yeah. Death claws and red scorpions are, I think, the only kinds of animals. Well, and rats, of course, that will attack you in this game. So that's not a very interesting perk, I, I think. Okay, awareness. We have seen this perk before. Um, it would make sense to invest another. Um, yeah, level into this perk, but the problem is that it only gives you uh, plus two points of damage, which is um, at this stage of the game not very much. I mean, if you do plus or minus two yeah, points of damage, that it's not such a big deal. Okay. Now this is more interesting. You get um, with this perk, you get two action points. However, you can only spend them on, yeah, for movement. Um, since I'm playing um, a melee character, that would actually be very useful because, well, well, it's obvious why that would be useful because, well, okay, if, it, if it's obvious, then I sh probably shouldn't explain it. But anyway, um, I need to, well, since I'm a melee character, I get into <laughs> point blank range. And the problem is that, well, first of all, sometimes you are attacked from enemies from a distance and then you need to spend at least one combat round just walking up to them. And even more annoying, sometimes enemies actually retreat. So this would be actually, I think, a very good perk. Um, I don't use ranged weapons at the moment. Okay, this seems very attractive plus two armor class mm. however we are going to get the um, we're going to get the power armor anyway so <clears throat> okay this is maybe a bit too late for this perk explorer um, Again, I, I have never even used the um, survival skill, so... Fortune Finder is also not that interesting. Heave Ho. Okay, we don't use thrown weapons at all. Life Giver increases the maximum hit points by 4. Um, hmm. Master of Shit. And I clicked... I misclicked and then... Yeah. So I need to reload. Okay. So, uh, Master Thief. Yeah. Ten percent one-time bonus of ten percent for sneak, lockpick, steal, steal, and traps. Now this might be very useful because um, I do want to increase our sneak skill as well as the lockpick skill, and I'm afraid that 
there will come a time when we need to apply the steel skill, which I haven't actually spent any points in. So this might be a good idea. Medic plus 20% on first aid in doctor skill. Um, hmm. Well, it, I mean, I could use this to heal my um, companions, but during combat that's not possible anyway. And after combat I can just rest, so I don't think that's that useful. The okay, more plus five five percent increase in yeah the chance to get a critical. This would be very useful for me, but it's only five percent. Um, ah, this this is very useful. Um, plus twenty percent to repair and science. So if I pick. If I were to pick this perk, um, I actually wouldn't need to spend my skill points at all, because then I would go get to a 79% repair skill. Um, mutate, um, don't want to have that. Okay, Mysterious Stranger would be interesting, but well, not useful, I guess. Quick pockets, not useful. Scrounger, silent, silent running. Could actually be quite useful. Um, at least if I'm. Well, it could be useful. Smooth talker um, increases intelligence level by one. Okay, by one each. Um, hmm. I mean, you can just you can just. If it's really necessary to increase your intelligence, you can just use Mantat. So, okay, this is also not, not that. Poison resistance speaker. 20% um, increase in speech and Sparta skills. Now that might be more useful, actually. Swift learner. Tech. Um, 20% percent immediate increase and two percent increase for every level uh, so you know what I think I'm actually going to go with uh, hmm I'm tempted to I'm tempted to go with the bonus move um, however Actually, I think this would be more useful. Since I usually end up, well, with one action point uh, that I can't use. Um, so I think this would might make much more sense. I'm going to go with Action Boy. Yes. Um, maybe not the best decision, but okay. Anyway, so repair skill. We need to get this up to 75%. That's a lot of skill points, I know. Uh, yeah, and then I'm only left with two. Maybe I should have actually... Well, I'm going to stick with the, that decision, okay. Um, and the rest we're going to invest into... Uh, can't upgrade this. Can we upgrade energy weapons? Yes. I think that's okay. Hmm. Um, yeah. So now we'll. Well, first of all, we're going to re equip our fellows, um, our companions. Well, okay. Re equip might be actually be. Might not be the correct um, word to use here, but. Um, you know what I mean. So now, wait. I think that that was all. Okay. Now we go to the Brotherhood and get that delicious, juicy power armor. Um, and I forgot to set the timer for this episode. 
So I guess must have been at least five minutes that I wasted making trying to make a decision. Okay. Um yeah, that guy. By the way, I um I know that you need to have a skill that I know that you need to have a a skill level of 75% in repair in order to be able to repair the power armor because I checked that off screen. It's actually, yeah, this is the limit. In particular, there exists a hard limit. Um, yeah. So, we're going to try to repair this. Ah, and I yeah, forgot something. Um, so, the problem is we can't pick this up because it's too heavy and we need to drop things and I should have I should have left things in things that I don't need in the hub um, okay so let's just let's go back quickly and then drop off some things in the uh, um, in the bank and then let's come back here And just in case you're wondering, um, I'm drinking coffee, not alcohol. Hmm. Yeah, that was, this is a waste of time, of course. Um, If I was a professional YouTuber, I would probably make a cut here. Um. Hmm. Okay, that was in downtown, I think. Ah. I'm always a little bit worried um, that the game will crash. Because that happens. It mostly happens when I'm um, running around the desert. But it might crash at any moment. Okay, where's the bank? Where was the bank? I can't. So it's not general store. Crimson Car. Hmm. Wait, it was not, I think it was not in downtown actually. Um, or was it? It must have been in downtown. Was it in Old Town? Okay, it's, it's not here. Um... This is the general store. Wait, was this? I think this was the bank. Yeah. This was the bank and I just totally forgot that. Um, okay. Let's drop off everything that we don't need. Um, okay, this, this ammunition. Uh, okay, first of all, we're going to give this throwing knife to Katya. Because she uses these knives. Um, okay, she uses this kind of ammunition. We have... Uh, do we have this ammunition? No. Okay, um... By the way, don't you... Um, knives and submachine. Does she not have a submachine gun? Um, okay, this uses 10 millimeter. That's... Okay, this 
That's 10 millimeter armor piercing. Okay. I think she actually has a submachine, but submachine gun, but in case she has not, you can have that. Um, so the rest of the team, I can find them. And if I could actually manage to talk to them, uh, submachine guns. What weapons do you use? Um, I mean, sh okay, I think the he actually has a submachine gun, but it doesn't show up. And that's something you can't. You don't actually have a magnum. magnum. Uh, yeah. Oh, I should have checked whether he has some. Um, not mad typos. Yeah. Stim packs. Mad typos that would be a different game. Okay, and finally, Ian. Not, not, uh, not Ian. Tissue. Sorry, tissue. Uh. Misclick there. I actually wanted to check whether you have enough stim packs. Uh, you do, I think. So, um, let's drop off this. Um, and even that. I'm not using it right now. Don't need that right now, or that, or that, and that. Uh, if I were, were to go back to the um, what was it called? The I thought. I forgot the name of the place, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. If I were to go back to there, then I would probably need it, but... Uh, I don't, so that's... I... yeah. Are they heavy? It doesn't say. Um, I think I should be fine now. Hopefully, uh, let's. Can I see my. Um... Ah, so I'm 129. Okay, if I drop the armor, then maybe this would be enough. I think if I drop the armor, that's okay, okay. Let's just try. Um... Yeah, and don't, don't worry, um, after we've picked up the armor and uh, upgraded it and upgraded our plasma rifle, we are finally going to do something interesting. Um, namely, we are going to take on The headquarter of the um, the mutants. I'm not, so I'm not sure whether you actually, if you can go there directly, or whether you actually need to do something um, at the church of the children of the cathedral first. Okay. Now comes the moment of truth. Can we pick up the power armor? Okay, our armor class right now is um, 29. Going to drop that. It's now at 9. So that's 20 points in armor. Um, now we're going to pick up the power armor. 
And that gives us... Well, only five points more. It's actually not that great. Um, um, it's only five points more, but um, the resistance to these, I mean, the armor class just increased by five points, but uh, the resistance to laser, um, yeah, is 80%, which is, I think, much better than what we had before. Okay, now we can. F um, Now we can go back to um, the LI, LI Boneyard and pimp this power armor even further. What we also can do is, um, we might actually want to do that right now. There was a surgeon, I don't know on which, on which uh, level, might be level 4, that can upgrade your one of your um, stat points permanently. I think it was level two, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's let's actually do that right now. We're going to upgrade one of our stats. Ah, there was the surgeon. I think. Yeah. No, that's the doctor's assistant. Uh, Laurie, the doctor. Yeah, she can, I think she, that's the woman, um, I think, yeah, so she can increase one of our, uh, points permanently. Yeah, so strength, perception, endurance, and agility. Um, okay, let's... Take a look, look, blah. take a look at our stats. So we can't upgrade our strength. Um, I think we want to upgrade our agility. Yes. Hmm. I think we're going to upgrade our agility, yes. Okay. Uh, agility. I'll do it. And our agility has increased by one point. It's now at heroic. Um, let's see how our armor class has changed. Ah, we've I'm automatically taking off the armor. So, so it increased by one point. Um, hmm. But I think it was still... Okay, maybe this was uh, not the right decision. Anyway. When we'll come back, folks, um, we will hopefully make more decisions and more of the right kind. And we will go um, to the LA Boneyard and upgrade the power armor and the plasma rifle. And then we will. Um, and then we will go and find the mutant's headquarter. So until next time, folks, until then.